every police officer that lined these streets today with sadness in their eyes to show respect as we carry two hero police officers out of this hospital. We will shoulder the burden for these families each and every day for the rest of their lives. Generations of police officers will know their names and hold them close to their hearts and educate our children about the sacrifice they made. All right, folks, welcome to Gimme Five. Uh, Pat Lynch, the head of the New York City PBA, speaking out on uh, Saturday night uh, after the death, uh, the execution of two police officers uh, here in New York City. Um, and Pat was filled with passion, and Pat will not be doing any interviews uh, until after the funerals of both of those officers. Uh, I want you to hear more, much more of what Pat Lynch had to say uh, on Saturday. There's blood on many hands tonight. Those that incited violence on the street under the guise of protest that tried to tear down what New York City police officers did every day. We tried to warn, it must not go on, it cannot be tolerated. That blood on the hands starts on the steps of City Hall in the office of the mayor. All right, now, you know, the, the mayor speaking out uh, today, I don't care, let's, let's, let's go aside from that. What Mayor de Blasio did, and I said this at the time, over and over and over again, the mayor of New York stood there and said, my cops are killers, my cops are racist, and I fear for my black son. That's what this despicable man said. So they could spin it any way they want, they could they come out now and say whatever they want. That's what he said. He should resign. He should step down. He should be gone. More. Starting today, we started the morning for our brother police officers. They're heroes. They're fathers. They're brothers. They're children. That's the men we lost today. So starting in the next couple of hours and going for a number of days, New York City police officers, through their sadness, will straighten their shoulders, stiffen their backs, and mourn for these families. We'll mourn for our city, and we'll mourn for our brothers. Yep. And how prophetic that uh, Pat Lynch talked about uh, the death, the funerals of fallen cops and uh, Mayor de Blasio's involvement just uh, days ago. Here's more from Pat Lynch. When these funerals are over, those responsible will be called on the carpet and held accountable. We ask every person in the city to bow their heads tonight and pray for our families, the families of our lost police officers, their families, and the family of every police officer on patrol today who's in danger. Yep, in danger. You know, you have New York City uh, protests where they're chanting. And, and it's funny that the media never came up with this, right? Did you, did you know that they were chanting? What do we want, dead cops? When do we want them now? Did you hear that video? No, we were told these were peaceful protesters. Peaceful protesters chanting killed cops. Here's one more from Pat. This was a cold-blooded assassination like we haven't seen before. So as I said, we'll straighten our shoulders, we'll stiffen our backs, and we'll wipe our tears. But when these funerals are over, we'll raise our heads, and those that allowed this to go on will be held accountable. And uh, he's talking about, in his mind, de Blasio and others. It's going to be very interesting to see. May they rest in peace. We're coming back. Don't go away.